Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new Fuller Store podcast with someone I've wanted to get on the show for so fucking long, for over a year. It's High Voltage X11. How's it going? Who is apparently a Muppet. Am I a Muppet? Hey, everybody. <laughs> She's just fucking crazy. <laughs> All right, before we get into bad decks already. All right. So High Voltage is the person who basically got me back into the concept of doing YouTube stuff with Pokemon because um, a random person that I happened to come across with, the Ch Charmander guy, um, what was his name? Um, was, it, was it the one with the Charmander as his logo or the one who actually had Charmander in his name? Charmander as his logo. Uh, match Player. Match Player, yeah. I, I met Match Player, I suppose, on Showdown. I think I was looking for someone to uh, um, up, like capture one of my replays and give me a file to upload on YouTube with it. And then you invite you and your recruiters got him into the Silco mob and he got me into it. And then I met you and then we got into a four hour Skype call and that was amazing. Yeah. And then pretty much from there, the rest is history, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, basically here's what I say about Silco mob. So Silco mob was a, an eight person collaboration channel led by high voltage and all of our friends and everything that we all got together. And we made a bunch of Pokemon content together, and it was great for about a week. Yeah, it it was fun to have the idea that, you know, everyone is on board with Pokemon, and everyone's going to put in their effort, and we'll do their Let's Plays. And someone in the beginning was like, I'll do a, a hack rom of a, of a Vietnam version of uh, that Diamond. Was, that was... um. Yeah, King that, Jolteon. King Jolteon, yes. And then Match and someone else was like, we're going to do co-op Let's Play on Fire Red. And I was like, cool. If you guys ever need a break, I have a Nuzlocke run of Emerald that I can upload. Now, this is exactly what the fault in the collab channel system is. When you have eight people playing and one of them needs to take a break for some reason, then the other people... Here's the thing. You always are, you're always thinking, well, there's seven other people uploading. So I can take a break, and it, nobody will notice. And then other people all do that. Then other people realize that nobody's posting, so they just assume the channel's dead, so they just leave. So now we only have six people in the thing. And then other people think that because someone else left, it must be dead. So the people who are still posting content are like, what the fuck is going on? And then it collapses. Yeah, it turns into... It's all very simple to avoid. It's just you have to find a group that you really, really, truly trust and you know already puts content or out daily. just give them a fucking schedule and say don't miss it. Pretty if much. other people miss it, don't miss yours. Yeah, and the way you can avoid a lot of this is just going to the channel, go to videos, and go, okay, these are private, okay, uh, oh, crap, they, they haven't uploaded theirs yet. And then you message them and say, hey, bud, are you going to do this? Yeah. And then no, it, Oh, communications broke down so fast. Oh, yeah, and the moment no one's oh, like, hey, fucking, I'm out, I'm out. I, I hit it off so well with Diglett, and then I fucking hated him. As soon as someone mentioned Superman, he was just like, he just ruined himself for me. I I hate Superman, too, but I, I'm fine with no, people... I had that guy on to do an episode of Moemon, and I never uploaded it because it was just awful. I just, like, ugh. He, he killed Moemon for me. <laughs> Someone uh, killed Moemon. Hey, speaking of Moemon, I am working on making a montage of, of all the old stuff and turning it into something. It's going to be cool. Bloopers and all that? No, like, an, uh, it, 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 secret secrets. <laughs> secrets. Every... You can't give everything out. I mean, um, so, the hell's the yeah. fun in Christmas? So uh, that was that was that was the self go mob and all that. And then I hung out with this guy. He's awesome. And what we're going to do is after this podcast, we're going to record an episode of the Pokemon Channel, where we're going to talk about your favorite topic and my favorite thing that I've ever heard you talk about. Um, I think you just, I think a lot of static's coming from you right now. Like the static is it? came back. Ah, uh... now it's gone. I, I guess don't. don't go too long without talking. I don't know. I suppose. Uh, so, uh, you gave me this whole lecture, because I missed out on a lot of the anime. Um, and one of the things yes. I missed out on was the end of Gen 4. I saw the beginning oh of it. Oh, my God. And I missed out on the end of Gen 4. And Gen 4 Ash is what we're going to talk about in the Pokemon Channel episode. So, just give, like, one sentence tease. 
It's the only one worth watching. There you go. <laughs> uh, so, Gen 4, the only... Let us let me give it a clickbait title. The only generation where Ash is good? That's Pretty much it's the only time Ash clickbait. has ever proven himself to not be a complete idiot. Uh, uh, it's, it, let's move on and tease that. Tease it, tease it, tease it. Oh, right. well, so let's talk, about, let's talk about one of the most, most exciting things I ever did with you that never got to be uploaded. Oh, okay. So everyone, me and him decided we wanted to do showdown videos at some point, and we thought, you know, everyone does this road Ubers and VGC and stuff, and I looked at it, and I'm like, I never see Little Cup. And then Little Pat Cup's was like, so good. And Pat's like, Little Cup's good. How do you not like cute animals? And I'm like, you know what? Let's ruin VGC. Let's ruin Showdown. Let's make a Little Cup team that is literally going to topple everyone over in Little Cup. We'll become the best in Little Cup. And then we'll evolve our Pokemon, go up to the next tier, and keep doing it, going up tiers, evolving Pokemon. We Until Pokemon, we hit Ubers and we're just yes. dominating for we no We had Pokemon reason. that when they would be fully evolved, they'd be OU, but otherwise, they'd be like NFE and stuff. So we would go through the NFE tier, and then we'd go into underused with not fully evolved Pokemon, because when they fully evolved, then we would be in, oh, then we would be in Ubers. I had this whole crazy thing out. We had, all right, so in the series, I called it LCTOU, Little Cup to Ubers. Or Road to Uber, he called it Road to Ubers. We recorded two episodes of it, never got uploaded. Um, and we still can make the teams and do that series at any time. Say something, you're, man, that water, that waterfall. Is it? God, why? And then oh. whenever he's talking, it, it goes it's away. It's just we Turtle talk. Beach, man. They yeah, the feedback loop. They just do not make good headsets. <laughs> it's so bad. Just say mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. Every, every seven seconds, say mm hmm. All right. I'm also. I'm also on a on a little thing on my channel because I upgrade. I uploaded something and I totally didn't do thumbnails. I didn't do any tags. I just I just randomly recorded a non vlog and then uploaded it on my phone because I was like, "Fuck it." <laughs> I went I went two weeks without uploading anything to my channel, pretty much, and I was just, just like, I need something. It. I'll do it later. <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> it's so hard. To, like doing thumbnails is what made me stop doing videos like of uh, like last year because i was just oh like, my god thumbnails are like one of the funnest uh, for me yeah it's, they're so much fun tagging. but like it's it, tags uh, i hate tags. Oh, well i mean you know you can set automatic tags right how you go into your channel um not the channel page but you go to your account uh your account details by going to you know upper right corner and uh then you go to advanced options and then you go into marketing and watermarking and stuff, and you can ta have tags on your channel. I'll walk you through it. Same. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see all that. All right, perfect. Because, wow, if I could just. I'm, do... I'm a YouTube help guru. Uh, if I could not have a tag problem, so much shit would get out so much quicker. Yeah, no. I, um, I am, I'm a YouTube guru. So you tell me at any moment, and I'll spruce up your channel. All right. Um. Yeah. So back to Little Cup. I actually yes. just uh, remembered something. Um, when we started that, I uh, Lopini wasn't Omega yet. Uh, oh um, man! I totally. Oh, forgot. we get to Mega Miss I Muffin. Miss Muffin, the transgender pink bunny <laughs> that was named after the family dog, has a Mega. Yeah, you, you never told me that. So it was okay. So I'll run through our team here. Okay. So from left to right, we have uh, a Magby named. Oh my god! You still have the team. Uh, no, I remembered it. Oh really? Yeah, they're my they're my babies. <laughs> we have they're... a Magby named. Uh, uh, what was our Magby name? Mister something. Duckface. Oh, Mister Ducky. Mister Ducky or Duckface, one of those two. Um. God, I, I really wish I could find our Magby. Uh, our uh, I have I have files of like the text log to really? upload to upload into Showdown. Yeah. Huh. So I, we can do it whenever we want. Um. So we had uh Duckface and Magby, who uh, was a support lead thing I think with with barrier and smoke screen oh. and psychic. It was stupid. And yeah. then we had our sweeper. What was our what was our frillish named? God, I don't remember. I'm actually looking through my thumbnails to see if I remember any of them, and I can find a couple of them. 
and I, I would look it up, but it would it would it would short out the Skype call. Um, oh, all right. So, uh, so we had a a frillish that was choice specs, max speeds and max speeds. See, when you're doing EVs in Showdown with Lil Cup, it's completely different because, like, mm-hmm. eight, it, like you need like eight EVs to get a point in something, and True. single points matter because like. There's certain speed points where, like, that is the highest of anything else in this thing, unless yep. they have something else boosting it. So we had one of the fastest Pokemon because we invested fully into speed, but you had just enough to put a bunch into special attack too. And wasn't that Scorupi? No, no, no. Scorupi was a physical attack. We'll get into that. Oh yeah. So we had Skorupi a super was... fast choice specs frillish with dazzling gleam. Um, I think hydro pump. Psychic and energy ball. No, no, shadow ball and energy ball. Just some ridiculous shit you it can actually put on a baby. Oh, Gen 6 TMs. So, and baby. then after that, we had um, uh, Miss Muffin, the pink male Buneary <laughs> named Miss Muffin. Beautiful. Um, how do, how do you mess with terror. that? Miss Muffin was a terror. She was, um, oh my God. She had... She's probably the reason a lot of people would look at their lives and go, have I made the right decision on my I think team? she had a Chesto Berry, Rest, Power Up Punch, um, and... I think Last Resort. Last... She was a Last Resort Pokemon. Because you would do you would do Power Up Punch, build it all up, and then you would put it to sleep, and then you would Chesto Berry it. And then I think I had, like, some Protect? form of... Some yeah, like protect or some crap like that. And then that. last resort would come and out. And then with you two just last attack. resort everything. It'd be ridiculous. <laughs> All right. And then uh next up we had um f- uh, oh uh the the um uh say um our 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 spiky ball. Our spiky ball pineco. Pineco. Yep, because that was our uh, what was pineco named and uh what was our pineco named? Um, didn't we name him Mr. Boomstick? Cause didn't he explode? No, we didn't name him Mr. Boomstick. Oh, we should have named him Mr. Boomstick. <laughs> we may. I mean, generation to, two, two to go nine. back and just name something Mr. So Boomstick. We had a rapid spinning, um, toxic spiking spikes with thing. stealth rock and yeah, it was it was it was, and oh no, and it had recycle. It wasn't Did an exploder. It, it had. Re- it had recycle and a berry juice. Oh yeah, because we could just keep doing that and keep and making it them live sturdy. So it never died. Pretty much everyone, we made a team that was breaking. No matter brain. what you we send out, it would take down something. It's gonna. These things could sweep by themselves, and a team of six of them yeah. are holding Which the front line. Which takes us to Mister Pinchy. Our oh shiny Skorupi with a weakness policy and max Cause defensive EVs. Because we're just not good people. So we have Twin Needle, which is guaranteed to poison for some reason. Yeah, I don't get that. It, it's it, I actually looked it up. It actually only has a 40% rate of but poisoning. It, essentially, it guarantees a poison. I don't get it. it. It must be like a 40% on each needle, kind of yeah, like how so it goes um, to 80%. Yeah, so it would have okay. to go to 80%. So if you didn't get poisoned, you're a lucky you know, round of applause. Actually, you're unlucky because then you get to get hit with another move. So we had Weakness Policy, Twin Needle, um, Swords Dance, X Scissor? I think we did X Scissor because... And Cross I, Poison. I, or can they not get Cross Poison? Point he, being I, is it had, cra- it had... Crazy moves it had, on just it, it had power. Either, it had Sniper... And and something else and a, a and a scope lens or something. No, it had it, weakness policy because right, right. But it had sniper, and it had mm-hmm. slash. which makes more critical. It, hits. I think it had slash. It had all critical hit moves and multi hit moves. If it didn't have slash, I know I would know I would have gone with uh, fury cutter. Just yeah. To, oh man, just I to love build fury cutter. It. Fury cutter had my grow vial and emerald. Oh, and didn't we have a shiny Eevee? Then next up we had shuffle the shiny Eevee with randomized gender. Who had dig return charm? Yeah, I don't remember what Eevee's was. I think I just put Eevee on because he looked cute. Well, no, it's because we would evolve him into something useful. 
Oh yeah, that was that was the backup of okay, let's use these five members and this Eevee's like great and all, but like whatever our five members are clearly getting their asses kicked by. We would evolve that. We'll evolve Eevee and yeah. that'll be the one that takes care of it. Mm-hmm. So that was the team. That's six, right? So we got Magby, Magby, Froilish, Bunyuri, uh Skorupi, Panko, and, Eevee. and yep. Eevee. Yep, there we go. And uh, we took them into people. We fought. We fought teams of OU teams. We fought some OU teams. Yeah, we did that for fun, just not evolving anything. And, and it worked. The we one had level one hundred versus level fifties, but all of ours were unevolved. I think. Oh my something. god, we did a UU and we won. We won straight up UU fifty fifty level fifties level fifties. We yeah, won. Yeah, we bumped them all up from five to level fifties. Didn't oh, change man. any of the moves, and we. Still won, and I was just sitting there so dying. Good. I'm like, so this shouldn't be a Everyone thing. Everyone should that play actually... Little Cup. Oh. And now I'm looking at Little Cup, and I've gotten more into it. I've actually found out a uh, Tentacool or a Sandshrew with an Eviolite is just made of hell because you can't kill it. Yeah. Actually, Ooh, we should run Curse on something. Oh, we should. Oh, oh. Oh, that's what we did. Um, we did have a curse. Oh, yes, a we had foolish. curse on the Eevee. Did we have it on Eevee? Yeah, we gave it a shit ton of defense. Oh, it's right. Otherwise, I was gonna say, didn't Frillish have curse? Oh my body? god, Shuffle was, sh yeah, but Shuffle was a tank. Our Eevee was a wall. It was just a fat ass. And the funny thing is, is that it used we, dig, so it could never die. We we put him in the roster. Just because we were like, yeah, okay, it. this thing will be total backup. Turns out this thing can just be oh the thing that God. takes all the hits. Because it because it can only be hit every other turn because it dig. So good. So I, what, what... I can't wait for Gen 7. I really can't. Man, we got to get through fucking Z version, though. I know, but they're taking so fucking long. Ugh. Why? And I know it. Actually, there's a there's, there's a nothing new gonna happen. Here's the thing: is that there's a ton of rumor that they're announcing it during the Super Bowl. Okay. Like tomorrow is supposed it's to happen. happen. Yeah, it's... they're gonna do something about Go, and they're gonna leave no, Z no, out. The, the Super Bowl commercial was the 20 year anniversary thing. Yeah, they said that they released that early, but they also said that they still had a uh, slot in the Super Bowl yeah. for something. So, and they said that now that it's not the 20th anniversary, we'll throw something else in there or we'll add more to the 20th Jesus anniversary Christ. to make it something else. Okay, well, God damn it. I know, and that's ironically around the time Koro Koro comes out too. So, oh my God, fucking Koro Koro. So least. we really, really might get Z or seventh gen. We might skip Z. Like I'm not kidding. But we can't. What? Pokemon has done it millions of times where they have actually shocked us. No one even yeah. thought or comprehended Mega Evolutions on sixth gen. Yeah. Okay. So. That was, I think I'm going to categorize that as a max survive segment because it's technically a new way to play and it's not really ring target because we didn't actually do it. True. But in the future, we'll do ring targets with LCTWU. All right. Maybe even us make completely different ones and we'll fight each other with them. Hell yeah. So, okay. So that is probably 40 minutes so far or something like that. Has um, it been 50 minutes? Well, no, it's oh, been 50 well we've minutes been talking for 40 minutes. Yeah. Okay. So, um,. Okay, well, I guess we could transition to what's your thoughts on 2016, or do you have anything else you want to talk about other than the Pokemon Channel thing? Like, what, uh, give us this... Oh, you want to give us one of your, one of your emotional Generation 2 stories? Um, Generation 2. You got, oh! you got Bamf. You got oh my Generation god. 3 with the fucking Shedinjas. Oh my god, the Shedinjas are so sad. The Shedinjas are sad. There's a Gen 3 thing with an Absol oh, yeah. that I've read, um... Maybe we should just have monthly fucking sad stories from Voltage. Oh, my God. Everyone gather around. Who wants to Nuzlocke not be Rose. happy? This is why we don't Nuzlocke. On actually, the on this actually, channel, we, did not do not, we do not Me and my brother him. have invented another Caterpie because we've had, he's had two of them. And I, um, I don't remember exactly where it started but we said that he's doing another nuzlocke and he actually caught another caterpie and he said 
this he thing. Said he would never go back to it though. He's he's been dabbling back in it. Actually, he moved away to Arkansas, and he there's like not nothing. be doing a Nuzlocke. Well, he's not. He's doing a Nuzlocke to a point where if it gets too out of hand, he's just gonna go play okay. a regular through. Well, I, I, I when we were talking, it was before I made the coma run, right? You never heard yep. about me talking about the coma run, right? No, I've heard about coma runs. You were talking about how you don't like how the idea of killing something that you've emotionally been attached to well i know it's become less uh it's become less emotional uh reasoning now basically here's why the coma run is better than nuzlocke in this case i learned this when i finished my blind coma run uh say mm. <laughs> Let's just say something oh no that's me making sure the no, waterfall I, never comes no it, it a click will not fix it oh damn it yeah so you just gotta go hi i'm a bad. <laughs> so I finished at the end. I finished like it was an amazing story. It was at the end of my anime club. Okay, that's where we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, at the end of anime club. <laughs> at the end of anime club. Okay. All right. And I was playing the elite four and everything. I was playing against champion. I was completing the end of my run, and I was running out of battery. Uh. So oh, that's always a time when you just save whatever you're doing. You no, know, I'm in the middle of fighting Steven, and my battery's gonna uh, running low. Okay, well, that's when you write your suicide letter. And <laughs> no, that's when I keep fucking fighting. That's when you minimize your screen, your screen lighting, and keep going. And but turn up the sound yeah. and turn the Wi-Fi off. Yep, yep. Just, I it was, need to finish. It was. I was waiting for the bus and everything. I was. Uh, so I, it was the end of my blind paired coma run in Ores. In what? Alpha Sapphire. Oh, yeah. you went went in Oras blind? Fuck yeah, I did. Oh I my did. god, okay. I need so to know this. your feelings on that. Okay, so um, the paired run, which is basically a wedlock without the gender rules and other bullshit. Uh -huh. um, paired run went great. It was excellent. I think I only lost like, I think the Pokemon I lost was seven, four, three. That's five. Lost. Yeah. Usually um, you lose you lose at least twelve. Oh, and two are retired. Four. Too retired. Um, Too retired. <laughs> okay, so here are some of the fucked up stories. So my starter died landing on the beach. Machop fucking low kicked it. Was it Brawly? No, no, on the beach. Got off the boat and my starter died. What? Yeah. Wait, wait, where? South, it's south of um, uh, fucking... Um, how can I not remember the port city? Oh, Slateport. On? Slateport, there we go. Um, I I landed in Slateport's beach and I lost my starter immediately. Oh, to that to that uh that one fucking dude. yeah the the muscly sailor. Fuck him. Yeah. So I, I, I always, no matter what game or how many times I do a different Nuzlocke, I always lose so much shit to Broly. I don't know nah, why. I wrecked Broly. I had a him. dude Curlia, <laughs> fucking quad resist. Get wrecked. Oh. I did. I did start a uh, Nuzlocke on um, just a normal Nuzlocke because I'm like I'm not gonna invest too much into this. Or yeah, I'll do. I'll just do a normal Nuzlocke kind of thing where instead of they'll die, I'll just be like, "Well, you lost, putting you away," kind of thing. And so far, or actually, I think I eliminated the kill rule, but yep. I told everyone on Facebook and Twitter. What starter do you want me to pick? Uh -oh. Majority vote one. So my starter is a Caterpie. And <laughs> I was, you have no idea how much I just looked at him. Like, Caterpie's not a starter. And they're like, Caterpie, man. And I'm like, Caterpie's not a, even Well, you know, you got to go get, you got to get a Wurmple and then you got to deposit your starter. Well, that's the thing. I was like, do you guys want me to do Wurmple? They're like, no, fuck Wurmple. Wurmple's a bitch. <laughs> it's Caterpie. I'm like, he's not in Gen 3. Do well, something. And he's... no one would let me play the game unless I was Caterpie. Okay. So um, so the first death was my starter, Trico. Um, and I was also kind of doing a weird little role play thing with the character Samantha and all that stuff. Um, so it was, it was interesting. Say, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, you really have to, like, push it down. You, like, need to peak the audio for, like, two seconds. I wonder if I move the mic closer and stuff and turn the chat up and the game up, will that be better? Um, I'll tell you if I don't hear it. Uh, All so, right. So I'm also going to fuck is, with some um, preferences. Yeah. Let's see if I can so do that. I, uh, I got, you know where Latios and Latias are? Yeah. When you first get them and Steven's there? 
Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. That did bug the hell out of me. Yeah, no, I walked right up and landed on that island, that land section and looked at the grass. Oh, like, that place is beautiful. Like 10, 10 tiles away from where Steven would interrupt you. And I said, huh, I need to get more Pokemon. So I turned around and I trained up two brand new Pokemon, a Roselia and a Numel. Oh, I trained man. them to level 20. I, trained, uh, I tr- completely super trained them, then trained them up to level 20. And then I was walking by and I realized, huh, when do you get the Versus Seeker in this game? Oh, hmm. yeah. No, that's, that's not a thing. And anymore. then I said, and I said I'm going to talk to this ace trainer. And they died. Because the ace trainer immediately fought me with up to that point in the progression games Pokemon. Because I didn't know that you automatically in this generation get a versus seeker on everything. Yep. So and if you talk to anyone, they will kick your ass. Yep. And it's absolutely amazing when you get a new Pokemon and you're like, I'm going to put an effort and you're my new child. And I want you to get a college degree yeah. and a wonderful job and have children. And but, then- but here's the thing. They fucking fought. Because you want to know what that trainer had? Hmm. That trainer had a Roserade, a Pelipper, and a Numel. Oh, yeah. Don't all, like, ace trainers... Like, I think it's all ace trainers and all veterans have it where, um... Where, uh, their teams are completely make no sense. Like, if you face yeah. a black belt, no, but clearly he's going to have here's fighting thing, or okay? rock. I... My Roselia and Numel died to a Roselia, Pelipper, and Numel. And and they, they beat two of them, and they almost beat the Numel. It was amazing. It was beautiful. I was like, you know what? Good on you two. But right? I'm fucked now. So I yeah. was like, so I got my, I uh, got my, um, I went back and got my fossil. I got a cradley fossil, and I traded it to my friend Laura for her, um, no, I got it, I got an Anorith fossil. I traded it for my, for a Lilip. I was about to say, if you're, yeah. I don't know a lot of people that actually fully went with Cradilly. I, I did back in the day, but I never even evolved him. Oh. Um, so I had a Cradley, and I ca- I hatched it, and I was like, okay. So we got a Cradley. We have one more slot. Let's go over here and catch a Pokemon. I take three steps to the right from where I stopped, and Steven interrupts me and gives me a Latias. After I just spent two weeks <laughs> training up two more Pokemon. That's great. And then I lose them, and I walk right, and then I get a free Legendary. I and know. not to mention a fossil Pokemon that levels up twice as fast because I traded it. Now, my question to you would be that, on Nuzlox, that do team you use was, legendaries? Um, I mean, like, no, but this was a blind run, so I didn't know what at the fuck this, to do. <laughs> were, were you at a point where you was were... I, ex- I, I needed it. I needed that Latias because I had just lost two weeks of effort. What was it? Was it to a point where normal Nuzlocks, you're like, no legendaries, you can't do that. That's just cheating. And then you got to Latias, and you're like, all right, you know what? This whole game's no, no, been no. Total I said, bullshit I, to this I, point. I, Fuck it. I, I was like, I, uh, I love Latias. How can I refuse? Plus, I needed a pair for my Cradley, um, who was named Oliver, and Oliver was level sixty-eight by the end of the game. <laughs> Oliver B. Tankin. Oliver was unstoppable. Oliver Oh, Cradillies. Cradillies yeah. are Oliver soloed tank. uh Kyogre. Yeah, Cradillies have one of the strongest special defenses in whatever oh, tier they're in. I don't remember beautiful. what tier they're in. It was beautiful. So um uh so uh when I was fighting Archie right before Kyogre, um I lost my oldest pair at that point, which was my uh-huh. Lilip. No, not Lilip. Uh was my Linoon and my Makuhita. Or Hariyama. So my Hariyama and my Linoon uh, both died to his uh, his Sharpedo. Or, yeah, his Sharpedo. How did you... Did you ever play Gen 3? Uh, I am a Gen 3 fanboy. Okay. How do you like how Archie and Maxi I love every change are... except for one thing. Everything about ORS is fucking perfect. Everything is a beautiful thing, and I love everything... Except what they did to Flannery. Flannery, Flannery. Oh, how they made her just a ditzy dumbass. No, it's just like, she's just too much expressive. And they took out her whole, like, her design 
was that she was like she, you know, blurring High that line up. between kid and adult, and they just don't know what's going on. They're confused. And in this one, it's just like she just yells. Yeah, I, they they and the other thing is that they were trying to add on her, There's and this more is going to sound a red planeswalker. This this is um, hey Chandra's got a lot of personality. Um, I and I guarantee have you, you read never... have you read Oath of Chandra? Yep. As long as it keeps people uh, in freedom or whatever. Eh. But I, sure. I've actually I've actually <laughs> read Chandra's book, and oh, yeah. that book was incredible. There's a yeah, lot. Yeah, that's not Chandra. canon anymore. I know. Fucking I hate Origins. goddamn. <laughs> I hate you, Magic. Why do you fuck everything I've money, built up money, to? Money. Uh, right, money, it's all uh, money, money, money. And you can't complain because if if the if wizards if the company that owns wizards goes out, then we lose D and D, we lose Magic the Gathering, we lose everything. It so should just go to complain. Blizzard. <laughs> oh my God! Can you imagine if Blizzard owned all that shit? Oh my God! Hearthstone, oh. Magic Hearthstone. Dude, just okay. give it to Blizzard. I mean, Blizzard's gonna sign a fuck it, but I, I, you know, I expect that from them. Okay, so, um, so back I to lost, Pokemon. Yeah, um, so I, I only, actually love crying Archie. I love Archie so much. My one issue in Oras, and you might agree with me on this, if you would have been spoiled by knowing about the uh, Delta episode. Oh my God, that was amazing! I love the Delta episode. Everything about that was beautiful, amazing, well thought out, well put together. I hated the girl. I hate her character. When they spoiled her, I was like, who is this? And then they portrayed her as some badass dragon person. I'm like, oh, she's so cool. And then I played the game. And then I found out, no, this is a ditzy dumbass. She's not a ditzy dumbass. She's Oh, my God. She blew up the one thing that could have just saved everyone the trouble. Yes, of... but it would have ruined the entire another universe. It, it... You uh, do you understand that the universe she was talking about was the was the Ours. Gen three games? No, it wasn't. Oh, oh yeah, because was... every every video game that they make is actually a multiverse. Well, yeah, um, generations one through five are of a world with now mega evolution. Generation six is parallel to that, and world where mega evolution does exist. So your emerald game would doesn't. have had a meteor crash into it and blow everything up if Zinnia hadn't smashed that. You know what? From what the battle fucking tower brought me through, I'd be fine with that. <laughs> oh shit, son! <laughs> Talking crap. How did you like when you saw that little tiny that little tiny replica of it? I honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I psyched so many of my friends up, saying, "You guys don't understand that it's gonna be a DLC. They're gonna throw DLC oh. at you." And I hyped them up and delivered and then, nothing. <laughs> what is this? A battle frontier for ants? <laughs> Right. Uh Xena is her name. Zinnia. Zinnia. I did not like how her whole thing The other thing is, props to you, Pokemon. Way to rip off DBZ in oh, every it was manner. Glorious. Every manner. Did you realize that she's collecting seven mega stones as Dragon Balls to summon Shenron, the frickin' new mega evolution of Rayquaza, to make her one wish to blow up the meteor. You are ripping off DBZ. And then I looked at the new Zygarde, and I'm like, that's Cell. That is literally perfect no. Cell that uh, okay, Gohan so killed. Here's the thing, okay? Pokemon survived the gauntlet of the 90s, so that means that they get to take everything that died during the 90s, which it's, means that they're going to take... DBZ didn't die, though. It's It's back. Are you watching it every weekend? I am. Oh, then you're in the minority. Like, no, I mean, like DBZ Super came out. Okay, but like, that doesn't. I, I'm not saying it's dead. I'm saying it died. Oh it yeah, be resurrected, a long but time it died. Ago, they just stopped. Which means that episodes. Nintendo gets to take every one of their intellectual copyrights. Um, so here's the thing. So we had Digimon with Mega Evolution, which is ironically still out. Oh like, my god, that game blew up in Japan. They they just released a new game, and I was like, you're still a thing? 80%. How have you not 80 died 80% yet? of all Japan sales of video games for a month were of that game. Or okay, a year quick, or something. Quickly, your views on Yokai Watch. Go. I feel like it could have more 
uh, mythological significance. Okay, you know what? Your actual response to that, I would have totally accepted that because I find it total bullshit. I actually picked up a strategy guide of that because I was like, do I want this game? And I picked it up at Walmart, started reading it. None of their evolutions look different. And I'm like, there's no sense of progress here. And they're like, you capture bugs too. And I'm like, what fucking game is this? And I'm just sitting here like... This is literally, they're like, it's different from Pokemon. I'm like, this is the exact same as Pokemon. They're like, no, it's different. Rick and Morty is a better Pokemon than that. I It does. Rick and Morty's great. I love how it's not Pokemon, though. Like, it's totally its own little thing. Cause the, like, it's totally the a rip-off, type, but it became yeah, its own thing. The three types are wonderful. Well, four types, technically. The four types are wonderful. Um, uh, I love how it's more than three evolutions. There's a shit yeah. ton of evolutions, and you can combine shit together. Like, I, I watched Hat Films. Oh, talk. Yep. Oh, sorry. I no problem. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think I know what that might be. Where I'm record or where I'm at right now is next to a window, and a lot of cars sometimes drive by. Like, uh, close that shit. Well, the windows are closed. It's just uh, I'm on the third I know. floor. And it's I'm on the sixth I- floor. You should hear what the wind does. Oh, God. I'm on the sixth floor overlooking a wind tunnel road called Ruger. Oh, fuck that. I, I'm terrified of heights. I couldn't do it. Pretty... Like, our outside window was slightly open, and that thing rattled for a week. I I do want to know one thing more about uh, Oras. Um, did you feel that it had, even though it's a remake, clearly a remake, duh, um, I viewed it as deleting all of my memory of Gen 3 because I was so disappointed in X and Y's actual story and back... And, I did uh, a podcast called The Defeatist Podcast. It was a debate show with me and Laura where we had debated over why Gen 6 sucks or not. It was originally going to be about Gen 1, but then we moved it to Gen 6. And what we ended up saying was that Gen 6 is an ice cream cone with a tiny drop of ice cream in it. It uh, is. It's like... It's like um, here's it's the like thing, okay? getting a large blizzard and they give you a small size worth. No, no, no. no. I, I, that's like, it's funny that we both came to ice cream things, but like, here's why it's exactly that, okay? Are uh, you that, ready? All are you ready? everyone right there, that was Vanillex Mega confirmed right there. Shut up. All right, are you ready for this? <laughs> okay, say Go someone gives you an ice cream cone, just an ice cream cone. You have no reason to complain. You got a fucking ice cream cone. Wolf that True. shit down. It, mm-hmm. It's a waffle. It's, I mean, wafer. It's wafer. Cool. Now imagine you're eating it and you look down and you're like, huh, there's one drop of a milky substance in there. Which means that someone had a giant gob of ice cream, vanilla ice cream, any kind of ice cream. Yep. To the point where the pressure of it pushing against the thing started to melt the bottom. And they held it over the cup and it dripped and then they decided not to put it in. That is that is X and Y. X and Y has a brilliant story and all this amazing stuff, but they, they just didn't, didn't put it in. I know. If they the, put it in, if they put it in Z, I think it's too late. They you know what? Piss me off. You know what? If Z, if Z does exactly Pokemon, I know that this channel is little, and I know the podcast won't get like a hundred thousand views in ten seconds. But Pokemon, if you somehow stumble upon this, fuck Lysander. I don't care well, about he's a dead. whiny crybaby he's, he's either well, dead back. he's he'll either dead back. or immortally stuck underground and he'll come back in z they'll make no, z I, like i think z should pick off like on an alternate timeline right after you beat fucking lysander and then like it's fucking you know as soon as you beat lysander i seriously think it should go off Zygar like how comes third out ended. and is like you fucked up with nature you have to f- you have to get all my things together now or else i'm gonna i don't know I, I think it should do what Gen 3 did, how... Uh, it stops and shit I, from and, going down? Well, no, I'm talking about, like, Emerald, not Oras, Emerald, yeah. where... How, it sh- instead how of, you stop things instead of letting it happen and then fixing it. Pretty much kind of in that sense, where it was, okay, Gen 3, the Groudon and Kyogre thing, they're good stories, but, like, clearly Emerald was a better story because Emerald it involved no game. both of them. Ruby and Sapphire were the shortest games, like... They're they're incomplete. You the need thing is, Steven. is that 
Yeah, I know, but when they made Emerald, that they fixed that by combining yep. both of them and going, hey, so you have this side doing this, and then you have this side doing this, what, and eventually... I, I always forget. So what team ended up being the good team and the bad team in Emerald? I always get them mixed up. Um, Aqua, was Aqua was the good team? Actually, I think they... No, Aqua, no, Aqua yeah. was bad. Aqua, Aqua became, was bad. Okay. Became our, our, evil, our, our, and then Maxi our, looked at him and said, dude, we fucked up. Yeah. Someone growled on it. And, yeah. And then um, Aqua was... To one of them realized that they were fucking up yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Maxi. Yeah. That was Maxi because yeah, Groudon's no, no, I, I on. I get what, what you're saying, Alex. My, my roommate is over here. Oh. Yeah. So basically, uh, Magma acts first, and then Aqua acts reactively. And then while they're doing that, Magma's like, oh, wait, uh, let's stop this. We're fucking up. But then that news doesn't reach Archie because he's already in the submarine. Yeah. And, but like, I want them to pretty much view. Oh, my God. I just, I just. Have you read the manga Adventures? I I have. Have you read third? I did. Okay, no spoil without spoilers. I remember that. How good is Marge? Marge Mar is so good. Marge, 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 Marge is Courtney. Ms. Courtney. Oh my God, the 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 pulls off her horn, has shit in it, fire thing, fire memory Why storage. Why am I not remembering her? My the the last time I stopped reading adventures was on fourth gen because it was just awful. No, no, no. Fourth gen was good. Fifth no, gen was bad. Fifth gen was bad. Fourth gen, I just hated how the boy is a sleeping person. Buries. Well, I, I didn't. Like anal, an idiot. I did a comp Well, that's the thing. Okay, um, the, a short version of my thing I posted on Amino. You can read it later. I do a full breakdown of them, of the first four uh, generations, and uh, the reason why it's like that is because in generation three, it's about childishness and adventure. And it's, you know, jungle kids who, you know, it's a kid who just moved here and a fucking jungle girl. And they do a bunch of crazy shit and save the world. Mm -hmm. In Generation 4, they're city kids. The only thing they know about adventure is they watch a show about a Red Gyarados. And they go out and play with their imagination. They don't have any adventure. They're kids. And the other one, like, one is just like eating I love food. One, one I love is oblivious to anything and just tackles everything head on smiling and the other had everything given to them on a silver platter their whole life they're assholes and you're supposed to hate them because they're privileged kids with easy lives but then yep. what generation four is all about is it's about it's about knowledge and it's about maturity i think was the two things i did no res knowledge and responsibility because here's what you have to do it's not you only you going out and saving the world the entire na the entire region is banding together and doing shit because like it's not just you you're just part of a global effort to try to stop this guy he's yeah, not a who's... pirate he's not a scientist he's a man and i, I the will reason say this. why he's terrifying is because he has history on his side so you have to go you have to read books to defeat the bad guy yep um oh, the thing uh, that i will uh, say is that i hope x i hope z is kind of like how like platinum it. played out oh, right, there we go. Uh, say where... that again I hope that uh, Pokemon Z plays out how Platinum played out, where I played Diamond. Platinum was, changed so much. Well, I played Diamond, and he was like, I'm going to summon this thing that could makes time. And I'm like, that's great. It can't do anything else. And then I played Pearl, and he's like, this thing makes space. And I'm like, you're just going to die in a vortex of nothing. But in Platinum, he was like, I'm going to summon both of them, create the exact same thing of this world, only without people in it. And then Garatina popped out and was like, Dude, you done fucked up, and took and them he, into the other world, and that was amazing. And, the and then you go in, the, and then you go in there, and then you go in there, and he's just like, "I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna die, but I'm still gonna do it." Pretty because much everything's and fucked. I looked at, I looked at Pokemon uh, X and Y when all of my friends got that game because I was excited. Oh, we were all because this is like one of the first times. Oh, well, this is one of this is, was super exciting to me because I've never done this. I've never gone to a place. With a group of friends at GameStop, all of us pick up a brand new Pokemon adventure game. It looks 3D. It looks amazing. What is Mega Evolution? What is this generation? <laughs> and we went to Taco John's right next door, got a bunch of pops and a bunch of cheesy nachos and potato bites, and we just sat there until they were like, you guys are loitering. We're like, all right, fuck you, and went to McDonald's and did the exact same thing. But we were, we were doing it as a group. Me and my brother tag team two other people that got the thing. And we oh, won nice. with butterflies. 
Nice. But it was great. It was so cool. And it took forever to get past the second gym. It took me oh, three. Oh, fuck that. So it took killed me my sand three, dial. Well, it took me three days to get there. I, ran, like, I, um, I blind nuzzle locked that, and I lost three Pokemon. Oh, my condolences of the Pokemon. But only three. Rest, rest in peace, Pokemon. Actually, <laughs> I never finished that with a Nuzlocke. I got to the Elite Four, and no, wait, no. The first one I did, I think I lost. I think I lost more than three on the first run. Uh, I think I probably lost five or something. Then the second run, I lost three, but turned off Nuzlocke at the end of it because I realized, um, I realized that uh, I realized what the come run was. Uh, so continue. Yeah. Um, Disappointed my, in my disappointment was after I got past the second gym. It was actually I know exactly when it started. It was right after I passed that reflection cave. That I finished it the day after I got out of that reflection cave. Tell me how three days of barely oh, getting man. to the second gym, and I mean like going ham on this. I oh. took a day off of work to actually go ham on this game. And then the uh, day after I get out of the reflection game, game, it just zoomed right by, and I'm like, what the fuck happened? Nothing, you dropped the entire story. And then I saw King AZ, and I'm like, wait, so you're a king who's immortal, and you fought a war, and the war ended by you blowing up literally everything, and then you only revived in that region. your partner. You, only in that region, but you revived your partner, but it now... It hates you like because it. you destroyed everything and it thinks you're a monster and you now wander this land eternally in pain. A reference because to of what you did. Jew or whatever it's called. Yeah, but I'm like, oh my god, this is like, this Bad. story is fucking incredible. I want to follow this king thing. And even Aegis Slash says that it was wielded only by kings. Okay, here's why I will never read Gen 6 manga Aegis Slash and Shauna. Age Slash and Shauna. So oh, you know how Jesus. Age of Slash and Honedge and they all mind control shit. Oh God, are they? Do doing you remember Gen Five specific? with the crucifixes? Um, crucifixes. Gen where Five it, had a thi- Gen Five in the manga had a thing uh, where um they had all the fucking gym leaders hung on crucifixes for a scene. Oh God. Yeah. So basically, See, there's a since, reason I stopped. Ever after since Gen Five. five they started. They had to basically do clickbait. They just had to do something extreme to get people to be in it because they had no good ideas. So in Gen Six, their equivalent of that was, they had a fucking admin from Team Magma. Okay, mm-hmm. she had a hone edge, which eventually becomes an age slash, and she gives it to Shauna, and it wraps around her arm, and, and she fucking takes... gets mind controlled and starts swinging at Viola and all of her friends. See, trying would... to kill them. I'm not gonna lie, I did and have a she's dream crying the whole time. Oh, that's that's just and, dark. Yeah, and you'd be like, Oh, I guess that's just a thing they did in one scene. There's another shot of at the Elite Four where she's standing bowing next to an Aegis Slash and that admin. Well, see, it says Aegis Slash's Pokedex entries are generations of kings were attended it, by it, these Pokemon. It, it, it temporarily mind controls a whole town. Yep, which uses their uh, spectral power to manipulate and control people and Pokemon. So it holds by the king, and with the king's power, basically the king everything. holds it, and everyone's like, oh god, this thing will kill everything. I actually had a dream that I had a Riolu. Uh-oh. Oh no. I, I had a Riolu, and I caught a Hone Edge. And those two were kind of like partners. And Riolu, because it was an aura master, could create a barrier and wield a uh, hone edge for a little bit. But he could only do it for five minutes. And then he became dual blade and he tried it and immediately Succumbs. like, was almost dying oh, from man. wielding it because it was draining all of its energy. Fucking mind control is so fine of a line. Well, and then bastardize it. And then Riolu evolved to Lucario, and I was like, that's amazing. And Lucario can hold on to it way better. But that eventually edge. it evolved into Aegislash. Aegislash yeah. And Lucario tried wielding it, and it borderline killed them the moment it touched it. And eventually I trained it with Don't him to with get to a mega. Well, I trained with him to get a Mega, and there's a point where Lucario literally turns Mega, holds out his arm, Age of Slash connects to his arm, both of the ribbons wrap up his arm, and then he grabs the shield, and Lucario uses his complete aura, which turns gold at this point, 
to completely block out the supernatural power but obtain the blade and basically by mega lucario and age slash were a fusion of a dual team where i was saying two moves at once where i was like power of punch shadow sneak where this is how you this uh kids uh for anyone watching this is what a first generation millennial or quote-unquote 90s kid sounds like Pretty much. This is what happens when you have just been in Pokemon for way too and long. Dragon Ball Z and original Yu-Gi-Oh! and original Digimon. This is what fun Dragon sounds Ball. like, children. This is what fun sounds like. My right issue, gotcha. though, my, my thing with X and Y, though, was 70 Pokemon. Okay, don't, don't, don't give me 70 Pokemon and then come at me and say the Megas are included in those 70 as new Pokemon. Nope. Don't don't do that to me because they don't stay that way. If you're gonna do something like Electrovire and Meg Mortar, that I'm cool with that. That's fine. Yeah, they they, they were, evolve they were, and stay. Dude, I can't wait for Gen Four remakes because we're gonna have Mega Megas. Oh my god! Because they were Megas. We called them Megas. We did actually call them Megas, but we were all expecting for them to. No, no, we just called evolve. them Megas. The, the Gen 4 Megas. That's what they oh, were. Oh, yeah. We were like, what what is this? And everything had to be traded with a certain item. Oh, those things were so ran- hard to find. They were a bitch to find. And I would when I found the ma- When I found that. the fucking Magmarizer, I was just like, oh, okay. Well, and then my other issue with it is, like, Age of Slash, broken. Uh, Talonflame. Everything was broken. Oh, my God, broken. Greninja, broken. Diggersby, as long as you had huge power broken and uh, then diggersby, though. what diggersby though and then uh i think they just didn't care they just didn't care about balance well, well and then you look at the rest of the team and if we're not counting legendaries because always xerneas was great i'm not gonna lie to you everything is pretty low under garbage like except every fairy has their like ridiculous thing okay sylveon in vgc is oh my god is ridiculous <laughs> You okay. can't hit this motherfucker. Clefty Errol is Roman fucking piece. stupid. Oh, I forgot Slurpuff, Clefty. I, Slurpuff is a fucking beast with belly drum. Yeah, but none of its stats are 100. That's that's the thing that bugged me. It was Slurpuff in, still wrecks house. And Aromatisse it, it still does. also wrecks house. Aromatisse's okay. HP is actually 100. And then her uh, special attack and special defense are borderline 100 yeah. as that. The fairy types are stupid. I know, but my issue was like... Like, they were going to balance everything. We were like, they're introducing a new type. It's going to balance everything. And then they just didn't give a shit. Oh, yeah. They just were like, hey, guys, so new type. And we're like, oh, that's cool. It's going to fuck everything. Rip Hydreigon. No one. I haven't seen a Hydreigon in two years. I know. He he was cool looking, and I knew him well. But, like, when you saw Pyroar, didn't you look at that thing and be like, that is a fucking lion made of fire that is so cool garbage what a garbage pokemon fire normal and his best stat is his special and speed and there's a difference he's a male physical and attacker well i mean it's it's all hyper voice but i mean like yeah. all of his moves would be so much better physical and they just will not give it he to got him. the luke's ray treatment he did and then you look at um pangoro and oh, like, Pangoro would have been so cool. It's so a cool Pokemon. His his physical attack is 124. Everything else on him is garbage and way. I mean, to- the bears are always shit. I know, but it's like a panda. Like, how is Japan gonna do that to the panda? That's been his mask. That's been their mascot That's forever. China. Yeah. I sound so racist. <laughs> yeah. Um, Either way, j- pandas and Asian. Um, oh, dude, nope, you're digging know, yourself deeper. I know. I know. Let's, I'm let's just, go back, okay? Let's let's, let's backtrack right. a ways, a ways. Okay, so. I will say this, though. Pangoro, you made the coolest thing ever with this bear panda. Why would you, on earth did you make it a fire, or a fighting dark type when you just introduced a type that beats both of them? Um, like, to throw it at you and show you, hey, look how easy it is to kill this thing. Right, and then Malamar is just retarded. With okay, let's not bring him up. Why you don't want Faku on there? Don't let's, look let's up. Let's not Faku. bring up the fact that they literally introduced a mind controlling Roper into Pokemon. Oh, I love Cthulhu. It's um, not Cthulhu; it's a Roper. I, I, I've watched enough anime to know where this is headed. Um, no, but contrary and superpower, not okay. Yeah. 
Oh, I, wow. Servine is fucking only known as the contrary thing now. Okay, that's fine. Not like it had any personality. <laughs> right? And I will actually say this. When I saw How Lucha, I looked at that and everyone's like, you like this thing? I'm like, that thing needs to be on my team. And they're like, why? I'm it, like, it, it was it was top tier for two weeks. Actually, I still think it should be top tier because I do uh, Unburdened, oh, Slackberry. This is so, un- so just overlooked. Like, uh, like, I just couldn't understand. I was like, so, 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 so it gets double stab? So, so, so is it four times super aggressive? Is it 16 times super aggressive against bug grass types or eight? I, uh, it, right. Like, none of it mattered. Like, when you use that move, it doesn't matter anything. Like, I, it's, it's I just will say do, this. A I damage. never used it. I never used never flying press. I never used it. I never used it. Oh, what I did was I would use. So uh, about back to Oras. Um, so I lost my I lost a team to Archie, um, and then uh, rest in peace team. I uh, I was scared of Kyogre, so I went to my PC and um, I did a dick move. What? Did, no. I grabbed a Rhyhorn, no a Don fan, named I... Kara. That had sturdy. Why? And I gave it toxic. Why? It was level thirty two. Wait, what? I'm not knowing any. Th- oh. And I took it to Kyogre alone with no with no partner because it was a paired run. And I used Toxic turn one. And then I healed for a few turns. And then I let it die. And then I, and then I let it faint. And then I switched to Oliver and he one shot it. Just to be sure. Just just to be sure. So you I didn't want to lose Oliver. So you just blatantly cheated. I fucking cheated. sacrificed a, I, I sacrificed you blatantly a Don cheated. Fan. I you were just like, I'm not losing this. I fucking threw a Don fan at a Kyogre with Toxic. And because you know, because you know, you got it. Oliver one shot at the thing. He probably would have taken it down from full health. I wish you would have let's played that, so you could have been like. I, I would not have. It would not have worked. It would not have. Oh my god, I would have loved it. I would have loved it if you would have been like, "Lol, hey, you, you mad want bro? What's gonna be happy? You want to, you want something? Mm. I have about 20 hours collected of audio recordings of me playing it, though. Oh, please. One day when you're just like, if you get big enough to where you're required to like upload shit, be like, I can send you the fucking audio files anytime you fucking want. Well, no, I meant like if you're like going like, uh, I still have have the video files of my first Nuzlocke run. I just don't have the audio. I, uh, my first Nuzlocke run emulator of, uh, Emerald. It was a race. And I have, I have half a Nuzlocke comic of it actually. Oh, I was doing a comic on the one I'm doing right now. Nice. I got Wingall and Ralts and a Caterpie because no one is. Yeah, because we don't play by rules. <laughs> uh, so um, so, uh, what else did I lose? Um, and then after after Kara, I got my. I spent weeks trying to figure out who I needed to get to take to the Elite Four, and I eventually said, "Okay, I'm gonna get Celio." Okay. And a, I went out and I caught. Um, I personally love Nuzlocke, Walrein. Within Nuzlocke rules, I went out and I caught a lantern. A lantern. Oh, um, yeah. There is ways to actually get around Nuzlocke. For anyone who watches Pat's channel, um, I will give a hint right now on how to kind of tweak your Nuzlocks again with your rules, even though they're self-imposed rules. You can decide if you totally don't want to do this, but for me, like on Gen 4, I really knew I needed a Gibble. So I went into that cave where you can only get Gibbles, but I used a Max Repel with a Pokemon that matched Gibbles levels because people, well, you guys need to understand. That's that's not cheating. That's not cheating at all. It's not cheating, but it is kind of like controlling. That's a good trainer. That's knowing shit. shit. That is, that is being good, but uh, people, I want you to know that actually Pokemon in that area will have a level cap where, like, Gibbles will be at 19 only. 19. I, um, I actually, I did, I, I have a Gibble paired with my Blissey in uh, my abandoned run of Platinum. Yep, but what you, what you do there is that's when you get to something at 19, use Max Repel, and then just get Gibble. Yeah. Like, 
that that is the only thing in that area that is level 19 but the chance to encounter them is like five. Oh. if you don't want to risk that just um just do that and it's almost a guaranteed you will get gibble as long as you match the number it yeah. can't go over I think, they, I think they understand yeah okay um i, just wanted so everyone to, like, I went to the elite things. four terrified but i was excited keep in mind this is a coma run so the rules of the coma run are everything's the same uh, I also had paired rules, which are like a wedlock, um, except that when a Pokemon faints, it goes into a coma and it, you deposit into a PC. Yep. Into a and box. Isn't, isn't the rule uh, they don't wake up until you beat until the Until you register in the Hall of Fame. At that moment, they all wake up and you can go back to each individual Pokemon Center and wake them all up and it's a happy day thing. Yep. The thing is that in a Nuzlocke, when you beat the game, it's never a victory because it's usually a slaughter. Yeah, you look back and you're like, "Good job, brave soldiers." Yeah, there, there was who have no fought. point. There was no point in any of it. But in a nuzz, in a in a coma run, there's this like this sense of, "Okay, army." All we have to do. It, have you ever read Ender's Game? Ender's Game. I think I've heard of Ender's Game, but I don't think I've ever read. It. I think I've yeah. I've heard a lot of it, but I've never there's, actually. There's seen there's a, a a theme in it that reoccurs twice. Um, there's a game that they play in it where uh, it's in a zero-G field sci-fi thing. Um, and at one side is a gate, and the other side is a gate. And you have, like, 12 v 12 with little blaster things and stuff like that. And when you shoot people, they get immobilized, and there's a bunch of obstacles in the arena. Okay? Wasn't, that ch- wasn't that the game where there's a boy playing pretty much chess? No. In outer space? Nope. What game is that? I don't know. Um, I don't know, war games? Uh, Maybe. But, um, so... The idea is that you win by either getting one of your people past their gate or by neutralizing all their people. And Ender comes in. He's a fucking genius. And he's like, okay, um, I'm just going to use a bunch of people as meat shields who are frozen and then put them all around me. And, like, you have to get one person through the gate who has not been shot. So he I do the same. turns himself into a giant ball with other people who are shot around him and then flies into the goal and wins because he's safe and he passes through. That's what it's okay. like in a coma run because all you have to do is get one Pokemon through beating Steven and then True. everyone comes back. And or, it's not a and it's not a happy go lucky thing. It's not like, oh yeah, they all come back. It's like, no, they all fucking come back. Like the way I visualize it is that when you get into the Hall of Fame, it sends out this green pulse through everything that wakes up all the Pokemon. And it's like, you know, even if you have one Pokemon on five health left, it's like everyone comes back, we did it. Yep. And if you fuck up, they're still all going to be lost in a coma forever, which in some case is worse than being dead. So it's not a pansy-ass role. Do you know what's hilarious, though, about that is that my brother, um, you know how you just said that you push with just as long as one Pokemon gets gets through? He went through the whole game with just one Pokemon. He had a shiny Butterfree, and he literally... Mr. Bamf. Mr. Bamf literally took on every free thing except for Slowbro. When he got to the Elite Four, he met a Slowbro, got Leech seated, and did not... He way underestimated how actually bulky Slowbro is and the fact that Butterfree has nothing that can combat at it. Absorb? It, well, it was... At that time, it was... Um, I don't think Butterfree learns Absorb ever. I know Beautifly does. Um, Butterfree doesn't learn... Yeah, no, Butterfree doesn't learn Absorb. Shit, fuck. Yeah, actually... I think the only actual bug move Butterfree can actually fully learn is um, if you egg move uh, Bug Bite onto yeah, okay. Caterpie or Silverwind. I actually think that those... Right. Oh, and Bug Buzz. He can learn Bug Buzz. So what happened is... Uh, so I went But to... this is Gen 2. Yeah, this exactly. Is, this is like... You told the whole story of Bamf in the Bamf video, right? I think I... Did or I did a quick summary way, of it. Either way, I want to make a recurring show of all of your sad stories. Oh yeah, today's t- today's sad story. Actually, uh, we all agreed that uh, Bamf and uh, one of our other Butterfreeze named Billy, who is actually a Billy! girl, um, they uh, they actually knew each other and had an illegitimate son, and that is the Caterpie that is in my no, Nuzlocke comic. Run. Nice. And uh, his name is Butterfuck. 
because because you know fuck you that's why we wanted to name him that <laughs> why like, is my name the, butterfuck daddy because butterfuck you well and the legend the way we are portraying you him is the fuck legend, yourself. well the literal legend of it is your father annihilated a country <laughs> your mother held an entire team together as the pretty much butterfly mother of the team to guard all of her babies. And we're like, you will come with me. We will conquer this land. We will kill legends is what they call it. We're going to call them myths because after you're done with them, that's all they're going to be because the only legend here is going to be you. Damn. And we're like, butterfuck. You want some butter when we fuck you? Okay. <laughs> is pretty much what we're the viewing. graphic imagery, huh? I know, yeah. But this this is a butterfly, everyone. This is like, you know, those cute things that you put on your hand. And no. They Have you seen flowers. the SpongeBob episode? They're, they're vicious. Actually, butterfly's second choice uh, instead of nectar is uh, blood. Yeah. They're butterflies are metal. Oh, they're fucking <laughs> sickening. They're so I disgusting. love butterflies. They're just the darkest things and no one knows it. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, so I went to the Elite Four and I made my team up. So at the head, or at the back actually, was the team, which was my crazy overleveled Cradley named Oliver, and Amy, my Latias, or was it just Latias? I forget what I did with Latias, but I had Latias with Oliver, okay? Okay. Um, probably Mega. Uh, fucking, yeah. And then I had <laughs> fucking the newest member. I had a fucking Chin Chow, not Chin Chow. I had a Lantern and a Walrein to take out, um, to take out the Ice Lady. Uh, great, uh, not Grace, um, Glacia. Glacia. Yeah, I had a Walrein and a fucking Lantern to take her out. No, wait, no, I had it backwards. <laughs> it was worse than a Walrein. I had a Lantern and a Gorbis. Yeah, you heard me right. I took. The Elite Four down with a Gorbis and a Lantern baton passing stats onto each other. Have you ever actually read what Gorbis's uh, Pokedex is? It's, it's a little off. It's a little no, off. I mean the dark one. Yeah, it's a little off. The fact that it uses its little nose to drain the blood of sea creatures. I was like, I'm like, this pink thing does that? Like, that's another bad dex thing. There you go. For bad decks to be like, oh my god, not this thing. Look Leon, at this. Leon this is Disney over. all over it. And then have him go, oh god, this thing drinks blood. Oh god, get this thing away from me. <laughs> yeah, I have that. Uh, oh. Okay, so, but that wasn't the scariest thing. I had a Walrein and an Altaria too. So my team was Walrein and Altaria, Lantern and Gorbis. Latias and all and uh, Cradley. A lot of water. Because water is OP in that gen. Water is always good. Water is OP in that gen because let's be clear, half the world is yep. underwater. Okay, so that sounds like a fa- that sounds like a failure waiting to happen, right? It it is, but I got everyone through to Steven. I'm pretty sure. Okay? I- can we all just agree that no one, even in Ruby and Sapphire, no one expected Altaria to be a dragon? <laughs> and, and this thing's a pink blue now jay with a dragon cloud. fairy type. Jesus I know, and Christ. now it's a dragon fairy type. And, and I'm it's, like, its backside is a fire blast made of clouds. Well, here's the thing is that I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, my, you can't do anything else with Megas like. I swear to God, you're going to go full Digimon with this and, like, that throw machetes and AKs. That is full Digimon. Like, at this point, you're just going to throw machetes and AKs at this thing. Fire Blast Tail. So, that sounds like a fuck-up, but we got everyone through to Steven. Everyone did their job. I planned it out for a month. Everyone's fully super trained. Max EVs and shit as much as I could. Um, oh yeah, because uh, I will oh, say, and this, not to mention perfect EVs. I will say, I didn't say train them super, until I got it. I will say this: super training for Nuzlocke's, um Pokemon. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for thank dealing you. with the uh, competitive competition. So here's the thing, okay? Everyone's like, 
like I, I super train before I do any training because I want them to be perfect. And, you know, it, when you go into a battle, it sets your levels. So it doesn't matter mm-hmm. whether or not you wiped all your EVs at level 49, then gave everything up at level 40, five, yeah. or 50. But in this game, if you can get all your EVs on something at level 5 and something at level 15, one's going to be way better than the other at level 50. Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah, so that's what I do. Um, so then I have these perfect fucking wimpy-ass Pokemon going up against Steven. And one by one, they start fucking falling. Fast. <laughs> they start, and I have to go by pairs. So they go in, each one goes down after the next, fucking falling over. I get to fucking that mega... Metagross? Metagross. I love it how everyone oh. bitched about how there's a Mega Metagross and a Mega Salamance, and everyone's like, where's Mega Flygon? And they're like, <laughs> okay, you, no. everyone, you can't get everything you want. No, they, and, there's game data for a Flygon uh, stone and yeah, uh, something else. Yeah, they wanted it, but, but everyone they couldn't bitched make, about No, Flygon. get this, get this. They couldn't so, make a good enough design, which I, I accept. Flygon's... The, I like Flygon being just Flygon. I, I will say this. Pokemon has always been notorious about if it's not ready, don't send it. Oh, yeah. So good. And I am I'm I will round up We can always get Flygon them. some other time. True. Actually, yeah. Pokemon Z. I'm looking at Pokemon Z because there's a huge area Ooh. where Trapitch are mm. in. Pokemon Z has oh. to do something with those things in the background. The fucking geothermal plant. Like... I was like Gen 3 confirmed because geothermal plant, wind plant, and fucking water plant. Well, and then another thing is that um, they, they're they doing something the same thing they did in Black and White and Black and White 2. In Black and White 2, if you didn't get, if you bought the guidebook and they gave you that map, there's a cloud over in one area and you can't see it. And then in Black and White 2, that cloud's gone and it's an entirely other area. And you're like, holy shit, where is this coming from? If you look at the poster, in Pokemon X and Y, there's a huge cloud up by the snow and termite cave region. Oh yeah, where we have no idea. We can make we can make t- for the fucking turn back cave ass place go deeper. Well, and, and deeper. then there's all the train systems that go. Oh yeah, nowhere. where the fuck do they go? There's that. There's the statue that the dude gets that says it's in a far away region. It just might be Kalos region number two, which true, I'm true. we're gonna call seventh gen. I'm just gonna call it Kalos region number two. Six point five. Six point. Pretty much. I'm just gonna call that's, it six. That's 5. what got me five fucking six hundred minutes watched. All I hope is that in Pokemon Z, I want you to make the story better. I don't want a whiny I bitch want it complete. fake Wolverine guy. I want guy. it completed. I want. I, I want will, the ice cream will, cone. I, I will totally view. Scoop. I will totally view X and Y as betas, and this yeah, being the yeah. full game. No, I, I, I swear, I'll, I'll stop fucking bitching if it's good. If it's good, I'll and stop there's, bitching. And if I beat the game, and you have more background story than a fucking detective agency going after Daft Punk, that was really good. I, I, it was good, but that's it. Yeah. When you do that, that's that's the game. In Pokemon yep, Ruby and Sa- or Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, here's you the thing. Okay, Delta I think I think they're actually Red. fucking geniuses. I just realized something. I think they hmm. were betas because all X and Y were were cashing in on the hype, and and they, all they no no it was it was just a vessel for the PP the uh, the magnets no 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 for the fucking app. What app? I I can't remember the initials. Go. No, the the three, the fucking thing that allows you to use one to trade and all that shit. PSS, player search system. Oh. It was just a vessel for that. And now sure. they're going to come out and it's actually going to be the full game. But, like, it was a beta because they just wanted to get the competitive shit out of the way with. True. I, the thing I hope is, my hope is, advance on the world. Your world, I actually love Kalos as a region. Kalos, it's, Kalos it's be- the first playthrough was so much fun. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful the region. Fucking clothes. You have snow. You have oh, okay. A desert. I, 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 I give. I give up. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to play. I'm going to play Z just so I can wear all those clothes again. I right. The whole oh character God. customization. You have answered. Give a the prayer. men more clothes. You have answered. Even then, I was like, you know what? You have answered a prayer from yes. a long time ago, where oh. we all said, just give us character customization. My hope is. And I, I just hope they don't forget how much fun we had in Oras with the secret bases. Mm. Do secret bases. Do character customization. 
expand on your world, yep. make the story a little better. And then for yep. megas, I only care about four megas. I want the three Johto starters to get a mega because we're <sighs> never coming back to second gen. So you might as well just make them. And then I want a fly gun. If I you're think, right. Honestly, I think that the second gen starters are going to come in gen four. I think they'll do it because in, you got um, the Gen One starters in Gen Six. So yeah, but then, then you do, get... if they do Gen Seven, they might do the same thing. But yeah, if true. it would make sense for them to get the Jotos out of the way, because they just did first gen, third gen, might oh, as well yeah. do second gen, because we're never coming back to that. Well, no, they did three generations in. No, they only did two. No, they did three. No, they only did two. All right. Okay. Yeah, 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 like if they did it in Z, if, and and hey, Gen Six ones are never gonna get a Mega because their stats well, are too high. Well, yeah, well, one is too high. Uh, <laughs> fucking Frog Ninja, I'm so pit. I so called him being the badass. Everyone's like the Fire Fox, the Fire Fox, it's a Fox, it's a Fire. It's gonna, fire it's gonna grow fists out with yours. It's and gonna be a firefighting like, type. Everyone's like, it's gonna be a fire fight day. And everyone's like, no, don't do that. And I'm like, it's gonna be fire psychic. And they're like, oh, that would be so cool. I'm like, no, guys, don't you remember? Don't you remember what we all thought? We all thought that it was going to be fucking like grass dark, then fire psychic, and then water fighting. And they right? would reverse counter each other. Yep. We all thought that. Nope. Turns out Greninja's just fucking every the type. death every, of everything. He's just every type. Yeah, just His like fucking okay, chestnut, chestnut. You really, really, chestnut's good, but you really gotta work with it. Oh my god, Bullet I was so disappointed. Is amazing. I was so disappointed. I was like, oh no, bulletproof is ridiculous. No, no, no. okay, you have to understand. Remember why I groaned? Here's why I groaned when you mentioned the turn back cave. Okay, I thought that my starter was gonna mega. I had a chest spin. I was like, I'm going to have a grass dark type. It's going to be amazing. I EV trained it in special attack. <laughs> and then it, it evolved once, and I went, okay, this is weird. Uh, did you do the same thing when you seen that ball Pinocchio looking thing, and you just kind of look at yourself and go, <laughs> I have made a grave mistake. <laughs> I, 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 I thought I had made a mistake. Then I went, and I was like, okay. Um, I went oh, through chest and, looks amazing. and I was, I was ready to fight my rival to get the mega ring. Okay. And I was staying there. I was like, Hmm, I like, I was like, Oh, my fucking starter is going to get this. And he's going to be able to mega evolve. I should go train him up. I took one step into reflecting cave and saw Wabafet. And it had lipstick. Oh, and I yeah. was so it's distracted that I said, hit it. And then counter, and then my starter immediately died. <laughs> then I, then I saved, put down the game, went upstairs, told my brother that I lost my starter. And he says, "You want to see what it would looked like?" And I said, "Yes." We pull it up on Cerebi instead of Bulbpedia, just for some case. And then we see it, and I go, "I'm glad it died." I, I didn't actually do that, but like I looked at, <laughs> I was like, "What the? It's fighting? What? I, my whole well, world was turned upside down." I will say this though: Chestnut does look cool. Yeah, but From, it, I let's, was let's expecting agree one grass thing. dark type. No, no, no. I know, but let's agree one thing. Grass dark type. I mean, Gen you're four, four times Gen, to weakness I mean, to three. flying, but you're four times to weakness to bug with grass dark, dark type. Uh, flying? Mm? Yeah, you're four times to weakness. Mm, grass the fighting. There's four times. Mm. One because fighting is weak against flying, and then grass is weak against flying. One move, and you're just out. oh sorry. I was talking about Grass Dark. Oh, you know, Grass Dark, um, Bug beats that. Yeah. Bug but... is super effective towards Dark, and Bug yeah, is also... I was just excited because it was a Gen 3 typing. <laughs> it's only Gen yep. 3. Yep. True, um, but there's only one Gen 3. There's also in Gen 3, there's only one Grass Fighting type. Breloom! Yep, so it Which wouldn't matter. You can't get Bullet Seed unless it's bred with a fucking Jump Pluff. I know. You know what's... Gr I will say this, though. If you can put bulletproof on um if you can put bulletproof on your chestnut, the amount of moves that just it negates because it says protects from all ball and bomb moves, which means acid spray, aura sphere, barrage, bullet seed, egg bomb, electro ball, energy ball, focus blast, gyro ball, ice punch, magnet bomb, mist ball, which would be super effective from a Latius. 
Mud Bomb, Octazuka, Rock Wrecker, Searing Shot from Victini is blocked from this. Seed Bomb, Shadow Ball, Sludge Wave, Weather Ball, and Zap Cannon are all negated because you have this ability. You just physically cannot hit this thing. And then top it off, his defense is actually 122, and his attack is 107. So, so good. It, this thing can actually be really good if you know how to use it. Yeah. Honestly, the one thing I fucking hate is um, Delphox. Delphox has has magician. It, it which has magician. Is, which is good, uh-huh. but uh-huh. it's good for one time, and then nope, nope. <laughs> I know so you let's go that. back and finish up the uh, the Aura story. So I, I know I, I know it's no problem. It, it's how it should work. So Ladias, my Ladias, I think her name was May or Amy, maybe Amy. Um, you Shadow Ball got it down to a not a sliver but a chunk of red. You know what I mean? Yep. One tick above sliver, and then my Ladias gets absolutely wrecked. And then I have my weakened little buddy, my Oliver. The fucking MVP. The overleveled, traded, fucking amazing fossil. And I'm like, okay, Oliver. You're weak to you're weak to steel. And you're not gonna outspeed. If he uses bullet punch, you're dead. I mean, it's just straight up. If he uses any other move, I, I, I just said I don't know. I don't know. Also, my battery was blinking red. Um, so I said Mega Drain, and then Meteor Mash came in, and it missed. Don't you love it? And I defeated Mega Megaross and Steven, I walked up, and I fucking pulse went out, everything's, everything wakes up, especially the five husks dragging behind me, but, like, I got one through, and, like, that's the euphoria you want at the end of a challenge run. It's all or nothing going ham. Like, if you've ever seen uh, one of Maryland's really old Nuzlocks, uh, spoiler for the Platinum one, um, huh? uh, Mar- Maryland is the inventor of the uh, of the Wedlock run. Yep. Um, and Which props had- to him, because he was just a fake Cerebi for the longest time, and then he invented something, and everyone's like, oh, yeah, good on you. He has... His black, his black, and his black run, or whatever the what, fuck, his runs are so fucking good. It, they're so good. I just couldn't handle it because he had done so many that he was numb to the dying. But like before he was numb, he was scary good at Lowe's Let's Plays. I would sink days into them. They're so good. Maryland is so fucking good, but I would never go back to him because nowadays I think he's just like. After he started doing sleep locks and wonder locks, I was like, I can't handle. Yeah. Um, so the reason why a coma run is so good is because think back to, if you've ever seen any of his videos, think back to Firebutt. Firebutt was a starter in Gen 4. Wasn't that? Yeah, that was his Infernape, Infernape, yeah. So he had an Infernape, and he was up against Cynthia with his Infernape, and she brought out Lucario. And she, basically, Marilyn was like, my starter's gonna die. Like, he was so immersed and, like, empathetical. I was like, all right. Let's go out in a blaze of glory, pal. And fucking flare (laughs) blitzes the Lucario and takes it down and then gets killed. No, I think it... No, it died from recoil. Oh, isn't that a bitch when that happens? At the same time, though... And Maryland is a metagamer. Maryland, like, he understands. He's like, this is gonna kill my... This is gonna kill Firebutt. It, isn't it a bitch though when you're doing that and at the same time you're like this is this is how it ends but bye you this is but like, that's, the only that, way like you could tell that Marilyn was still happy because it's like a fire type wants to go that way yeah even if you were to portray to it way. into a magic the gathering kind of sense yep, that's yep. Mm-hmm. they you would much rather burn the place down than ever admit Plus, uh, it's just like, defeat. It's helping all your friends because the rest of this team was going to die if that thing got through, that Lucario. The rest of the team was completely going to get destroyed. That thing had crazy moves. And it's oh. platinum. Huh. 
How about that? So my brother just messaged me. Uh, apparently, uh, the uh, Pokemon card game, TCG, yep. um, Breakpoint just came out today. Ooh. And let's see. We've got... Oh, by the way, I have a new, uh, the other guy blew you off. I have a new friend who I think you should send your codes to. My codes? Uh, for TCG cards. Oh, yeah. Actually, I... I kind of stopped doing that, but I am going to do an, a couple other... If you, if other you do get more codes, send them to oh, Alice. Oh, no. I actually have an entire tin full of them. Like, send, them I, send them to Alice. You remember Alice from the video? Um, Was she in the uh, self Transgender. No, it was in the five-year anniversary video, the guy. With the yeah. girlfriend. Oh. At the end. I will. I'll look him up, and I'll. Uh, just, I might just mail him the tin and be like, "Yo, dude, here you go," because uh, there's yes. literally a tin, like an entire Pokemon tin uh, full codes? to the brink of unused TCG codes. Okay, so go through my anniversary video, watch their montage section, then contact them. Okay. Yep. Um, if you don't mind, I'll go quick. Um, it looks like in point or break point. For EXs, we have Gyarados, Mega Gyarados, Manaphy, Espeon, Darkrai, Scizor, Mega Scizor, Ho-Oh, uh, Full Art, Skylas, and another Gyarados EX. And it turns out the Gyaradoses are the red Gyaradoses. Wait, what? Yep. And then we have a uh, Togekiss as are an they promos? EX. I don't. They need don't, to be promos, dude. I don't know. I do know, though, for breaks, the break cards are just something I would have never. Oh, and there's Embor apparently oh, as cool. an EX as well, and Pelkia and uh, Togekiss, I think. And the breaks are Radicate. Wait, oh. Radicate as a oh. break? Oh. How? Okay, how good is the Radicate gonna be for the break? Because you're putting a rat. Okay, so it's HP is 110, not bad. Super Fang, two whites. Put any put a damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon until its remaining HP is ten. Uh. <laughs> Holy shit! This thing shuts down stuff. And then you have Trevenant, which I'm guessing is just scary. Uh oh! Remember what we talked about with uh, Pyroar? Yep. Uh, with the Luxray thing. Oh. Luxray got a break. Oh. Oh my god, these are Pokemon that need a boost in the card game and in the game, and basically it's, look who got a break. Shut up. I just got that. That's hilarious. Thanks, Nintendo. Uh, Golduck has a break. Okay. And, oh, you can just go fuck yourself, Nintendo. Really? You gave Greninja a break? <laughs> Does he really need anything? The attack is called Giant Water Shuriken. <laughs> Once during your turn hey, before you attack... Smash thing. This Oh, it's not a move. It's a... Oh! Oh, what? We bring it back to the Gen 3 days? It... Okay, get this. It's a break that brings its HP to 170. It just adds an ability. There's no attack. What... What is this Pokemon? Is uh, it like what? giving it Protean? I... Once during your turn, if this is Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may discard a water energy from your hand. If you do, put six damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, oh you can oh, just oh, go oh. fuck yourself. It's, it's a an sniper? ability that hits as an attack. It's, it's a, a sniper. sniper. It's not even the attack. Jesus Christ. It's, hey, by the way, I discard a water card. Is Wait that a minute. instant speed or is it during your turn? It's before you attack. So when you attack, the turn ends, and then the Greninja before that has Shadow Stitching, which does 40, until the end of your opponent's mm. next turn. Each of your opponent's Pokemon in play, in his or her hand, and in the discard pile, has no abilities. So you hit them, and nothing on their side has abilities anymore. What Moonlight f- Slash is 60+. plus. You may return, and oh, you just go fuck yourself. Let's, let's... Moonlight Slash. You know how I just said its break is discard a water, do six damage to anything, like active or on the bench? This is before you attack. Moonlight Slash. You may return a blue no. energy from this Pokemon to your hand. Oh, to your hand. Okay, I didn't read okay, it fully. Okay. I thought it was, I thought it was from your graveyard, dude. I'm like, 
you did not just make a broken card. You are not sending that to the graveyard just to have it come back and just to be like, ha ha, LLL, you mad, bro? Okay. Yeah, and so, if you do, it just adds oh, 20 damn. more damage. So it's not Jesus too Christ. powerful. It's just that ability is just yeah. gross. Okay, so let's finish up this podcast. Yeah, I'm um, sorry. I get yeah. so distracted. But, but um, so I got one thing through, and it won it for everyone. Then went to each individual place, revived everyone. Because it, it got a, well, all about a bed and all that stuff. It was, it was a wonderful, beautiful thing. Oh, by the way, during the credit roll of, like, after it and everything, that's when my battery died. I was like, I'm pretty sure it saved. And it did. And I was fine. Uh, but, like, I watched as much of the credit roll as I could. And I rewatched it later when I, you know, beat them again with a <laughs> fucking Deoxys. <laughs> fucking, um, fucking Rayquaza. <laughs> I, I just realized something. When the credits roll and your battery died, um, because this actually happened in my game where if you would have not had the battery die and you would have continued, um, uh, what is it? Um, you fight May at the end. I think I... Wait, wait, what? Yeah, you fight May at the end of the credits. What... When? Wait, it, wait, what? Did I miss out on fighting of my rival? I think you totally skipped it. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking no, awesome. No, wait, not what? Yeah, when you when wait, you did ride they pull a full bike, AZ ride... on you? It does. It does a full AZ on you. It, I haven't you ride... heard about this. The game's been out for two years. No. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Restart one of your games. Play it all the way through. I don't have a you, 3DS. You totally. Um. Ah. Uh, you totally, um, at the end you fight May, and she actually has the Mega. I, 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 I didn't fight Brendan. Oh, you were May. So, yeah, like, you know how in Delta episode she goes to Brendan and steals the Mega Stone from I, I, him? I, 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 I didn't, I didn't know. I, you never I, wondered that? She's one of the Mega Stones that she steals, because at the end of the credits you I clearly realize, see that they have it. I didn't, well, I didn't see that I skipped it. My oh my God. <laughs> that no. is awesome. I think you're the first person to ever discover the oh. fact that you could totally just skip that battle. Oh my God. I'm so sad. I, 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 I missed it. That's great. That is beautiful. That's the title. That's the title of the fucking video. You wait till all the way to the end and then you realize Patton missed his rival battle. That's, that's the best. I've gone two years without knowing this. Oh my god, are you serious? Motherfucker. I'm not kidding. Alright. Wow, I can't believe no one asked me that. I. That's no one ever thing. mentioned... That's... Wait, so like, no one ever mentioned funny your rival with the fucking AZ thing? I didn't know this! Yeah, with AZ, you, you fight AZ at the end of the credits, but like, yeah, you ride your bike wait, wait, into so... your hometown, and then you fight May. What the fuck? I missed the whole cutscene? everything is it full body it's full body they oh, look at you and they're yeah, like hey up. they look at you and they go like hey one more time i just want to see how i pair up against you <laughs> so what what starter did you have a tree go but i mean i didn't have it in my party oh okay uh so brandon would have had a swellow raichu waylord breloom and a blaziken oh. Well, I mean, 48, I think 48, I would have gotten destroyed. 48, 50. I would have gotten destroyed anyway. Or my Latias just Oh my god, this Blaziken. Um, Blaze Kick, Brick Break, Quick Claw, Shadow Claw. Yeah, um, I'm glad I skipped it, but I'm also very Although nothing sad. else has an item, although this fucking Swallow, Steel Wing, U-Turn, Quick Attack, Aerial Ace. Raichu has Jesus Light Christ. Screen. Oh my god, this Waylord! Waylord Stop. Surf Heavy Slam Stop. Bulldoze Stop. Ice Beam. Oh my god. This Alex, Alex. Did you play Ores? What? Did you play Alpha Alpha Alpha, 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 Alpha Ruby? Yeah. Microsoft. Okay, did you fight your rival at the end of the game? I don't know, I never finished it. You never finished it. <laughs> <laughs> you know how at the end, at the end, that's why you fight AZ? At the credits? AZ. He never he finished AZ? it. AZ? Uh, no, it's like AZ. You no, no, ride he, your bike. I said, it. "Do you remember AZ?" And he said, "AZ." Oh yeah, um, AZ. He has a. No, no, uh, he doesn't. No, he doesn't play. Oh, he didn't way. beat. Has he never beaten a Pokemon game? Yeah, he just said, "What's an AZ?" You're trying something 
All right. Well, um, nope. Pat, go buy a pickaxe. Break <laughs> your friend out the I'm not going to break a pickaxe over my. Oh, you gotta, you gotta get a pickaxe. I, I missed. A th- yeah, it's too long of a story. Um, break the rock over your roommate's it, head because yeah, clearly he's been living. Under I gotta it. wrap this up, Alex. Uh, I can't explain it twice. Um, so yeah, the reason why I think coma runs are great is because it gives you a purpose to the end of the game. It, get, it allows you to go balls to the wall instead yep. of being like, like in my blind run, of the first run of X version, it was terrifying, and the only thing that held me, the only thing that kept it from everything dying was affection. My Pokemon were fucking surviving things that should have killed them. Like, back and forth. I didn't lose anyone, but I I, I, I like the idea of a coma lock. The fact... I would put a coma lock to the extreme that everything you catch has a link to you. And basically, if the last link is broken, you go to sleep forever. So it's kind of like a fear... Oh, of no. This thing sleep. started as, like, a nightmare run. And I was like, that's too evil. Like, the whole concept was, like, if a Pokemon... Fan, like. Here's what started... Okay, I'll wrap this podcast up by saying the origins of the coma run, okay? What gave me the idea? I was fighting Lysander in my second run of Y... Uh, my second run of X and Y, so it was Y oh version. Oh, God, why do it twice? Um, <laughs> because I got... I lost my 3DS, then I got Y version. Uh, like, with Fair a enough. new 3DS with the deal. Fair enough. Um, so I played through it, and I, was, I got... It was a... It wasn't a normal run. Um, I told my friends that I was doing a thing, and I told them all to randomly make a bunch of eggs oh you did an egg lock and then i had them shuffle around the eggs and then randomly give me them and i traded them wild pokemon for them and i went through and i hatched each egg as my encounter from my friends and i didn't know what i was gonna get so i had a pseudo random team that was just amazing it was just beautiful you basically add the randomizer to but it it was it was glorious because it was my friend's handpicked shit um, so I swapped out my starter for, uh, my new starter, which was, um, well, a bell sprout. <laughs> that was, that was fun to start with. I hey, had, I, I had mean, a, I you can't vic- really be too mad. I mean, he is a religion. No, I mean, like victory bell. I mean, he loved Jesse. So. He always ate I had him. a victory bell. Like, here are some of the things that I hatched. Victory bell. Uh, fucking Behem. Behem, I love. Apom. I'm fine with Apom. Um, Dunsparce. Best Which thing ever. Wrecked God. House. Dunsparce True is Arceus. a god. True Arceus, right there. Um, fucking... Uh, they should add a mega to him. Oh, um, uh, Ampharos. Okay, I love Ampharos, and when they gave him a Mega, I was like, this bitch is a dragon. Oh, my God. Fucking thing. Dedene. Dedene is a Vulpix. Vulpix is nice. Um, and then Wait, did the Vulpix have a drought? Yep. Perfect. Um, so I got a bunch of crazy weird Pokemon. So I had my Victory Bell, and I was fighting. Um, my, my Victory Bell fought, it fell um, the, uh, the second time I fought Lysander, I think. His mind shot wrecked it. Um. So that was sad. And I was fighting him, and I had my Mega Ampharos out doing work, okay? And I just needed to heal him up, okay? I was fighting the Pyroar, and I needed to heal. I was at yellow health. I was like, okay, routine thing. I'm going to heal my, my fucking Ampharos. And I, okay. my finger draped across the screen and healed my full health Umbreon. Which, in previous games, isn't able to happen. And I'm sure he was at full health. So that was the game fucking up. It shouldn't it should have said it will have no effect. But it used yeah, it. Yeah, they they added that and that actually killed one of my Pokemon as killed well. Killed mine. And so it killed my Ampharos, which was my fucking star. My my do you want, I was on like, a I quick can't... little on a quick little note, do you want to know why they added that in there? Why? It's actually due to Pokemon Yellow that was a glitch to make Pikachu love you like that, like super quick, so you could get Bulbasaur right away. It was, you get a potion, and off screen and off battling, you just try to use the potion on Pikachu, and he loves and appreciates that you're trying to make him so damn healthy, it's actually unhealthy for him, and he'll actually love you. That's a glitch. Wow. It, it's a glitch to also make your Pokemon super friendly towards you right away. 
So, okay, so, yeah, so, um... So back to the story. Yeah, so my Ampharos faints, faints. I'm like, um, I'm going to think about that later. So I beat him, and then I'm like, think about this in RP sense, okay? Okay. You wouldn't actually say that in the story. You stood there, emptied a full can of Hyper Potion onto a perfectly fine Pokemon and watched your lead Pokemon get Hyper Voice to, to death. I just, I yeah. could reconcile that. So I was like, I have to do something else. So I said that Pearl was in a coma. I couldn't use him until I beat the game. I was like, th- that's the best I can do. Because I'm like, I can't use him because he, he fainted. But like, he can't be dead because that doesn't make any sense. So I went through the game and I was in Victory Road training up a team that had a Behem, an Archaeops, a Dedenne. Archaeops. A defensive Ninetales. Archaeops is that, uh, is is that uh, defeatist. Yeah, in the uh, flying, uh, flying turkey. Rock. Yeah, it's, it's the turkey. So yeah, I had a, I like I had an Archaeops. I had a Behem. I had Dedenne. I had defensive Ninetales. I was gonna, I was gonna lose. I was, it was gonna be a massacre if I went in. So I just said, I'm ending the Nuzlocke in Victory Road, and then I went in, and went to the Elite Four, and I had fun. I had fun fighting with the Pokemon. I had built a relationship, but fighting like a normal game but with pokemon from a nuzlocke and i like this is amazing how can i get this effect again then a year went by and i made the coma run and i tested it out in um in uh in a few things and then i had the run in oras which signified that i was like this works everyone should do a coma yeah. run. no one should ever do another nuzlocke unless it's for a specific reason or honestly for shits and gigs at one point <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I'm doing right now. All right, but like you should do a come run and a paired one at that. You, like you got to do a paired run. Paired runs are l- just glorious. They're just so I, amazing. I, I will say this. I am working on a death montage right now for Emerald because after my um hardcore run on Minecraft is over, I think I'm going to switch over to um going to Johto. And do a Nuzlocke on Heart Gold or Soul Silver, probably Soul Silver. And yeah, I'm still gonna go with Nuzlocke rules because that's just what the kind of theme is. But on my own time, I will do a paired coma run. And you I think will I'll love do that. It. For, I guarantee uh, it. I think I'll do it for Black and White too. Uh, nice, nice. So that'll be the end of this podcast, and we're gonna go record an amazing other podcast. Stay tuned. Any last things? Um, check out my channel, High Voltage X11. I do dumb Let's Plays down and, below and shit. And 60 second Let's Plays, where basically I sum up a game in 60 seconds, or I just act like a goofball. I also do Bad Decks, where it's an alcoholic, drug abusive, um, Pokedex. Pokedex, and a moron trainer just doing regular Dex entries. I also do unboxings, and there will be skits to come later on. Uh, please come subscribe to me. I would very much appreciate it. He's a long time. He's a long time friend of the channel. He is what he is the reason why this channel exists. Aww. Uh, the self go mob is the reason why this channel exists. The because failed the channel is the reason the, this successful. Because channel. here's the thing, okay? <laughs> that channel taught me something. You cannot have a collab channel that is shared amongst all people. If you're gonna nope. make a channel that you want your friends to come on and even post videos on, you have to say. This is my channel, and I'm going to post enough to keep it alive. And anything you guys post is surplus. Yeah, that that's is the only how way to do it. Should be done. Yeah, that's the only way to do it. All right. Well, thank you for having me on. Yep. All right. See you guys around.